Oh, shoes. that's even worse. Okay, tell us about this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, name it Brandon. <laughs> okay, so this is a MS460. Caught on fire at one time. Ported and polished by me. Um, aftermarket air filter. Other than that, it has a bark box on it. A gutted muffler on, on the inside. So it's going to be loud. loud. Um, I love these bark boxes for working applications. And it's going to be loud, so let's put some earplugs in and uh, uh, do some tuning on it too. How, how did you port it? Like radical? Mild? No, very, very mild. Very, very mild. So this should, out of the box brand new, it should be six horsepower is what then we'll be still. Lucky, we'll be lucky to get fives? Yes. <laughs> oh, very lucky. Uh, Farmer Tech Cylinder? No, OEM. Oh, OEM. Okay. All OEM except for this is a Farmer Tech tank. Yep, aftermarket handle because the OEM ones always break. Okay, we're ready on the dyno. Okay. I'm going to say we're going to have to lean it down. Yeah, before I do some tuning to it. Okay, just a minute. What are we calling this one? <laughs> Brandon? Brandon? No, not yet. We have to see if it makes any power. Oh, yeah, that's if it doesn't make power. What did you say? It's an 044? 046. Or a 460. Oh, 460. MS 460. Okay. Magnum. Ooh. I can't call it stock. I'm going to put port and B box. That. We might want to do it again. That didn't sound super. I doubt. She has problems. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Steel, tell me again, 460. Yep. Usually when we come to the dyno, you want it to be like working perfect. It sounded good this morning when we cut with it. Yeah. Like I said, it has some issues. I'm not sure what the issues are yet. Did you put it on the leak down test? Yep. So it it's all good. It's all good there. Yep. So I think it's the carburetor. Carb I adjustments. Just won't lean it down. Five point six four nine. Are we naming it Brandon? Yep. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna name this uh, Bodie. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? I think I got a carburetor issue. 
I had that leaned out all the way. Really? It cut pretty good in the wood. Yeah, it did. So, this might be proof that uh, not all porting is good. <laughs> I hate to say it, you know what I mean? No, 100%. But it cut great in the wood, which is what's weird. Yeah, in the, in the wood it does. It's impressive in wood. Is it okay if I name it Brandon? Okay? Yes, you can no. name it Brandon. <laughs> not going. Just don't call me Brandon. <laughs> You might have to lay a turd somewhere around here if you do. <laughs> right. Not to worry. <clears throat> so stock they have? Six. Six. 460 Which I'm magnet. guessing it was tacking out at, what, 14? 6.129. Which is weird because this thing cuts wonderful in the wood. Yeah. That is interesting, isn't it? It just goes to show, dinos are only an indication of what it's going to do in the real world, right? So, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know what it is. Because it sounded better, you know, like it wasn't gurgling on the top. I'm wondering if my carbs shot because I had it leaned out all the way almost. Yeah, maybe she fixed that. Huh? Yeah. Look at that. See what the trouble is. But she wrapped out at 14, but she kicks. She does really good in wood, which yeah. is weird. Yeah. But also, this thing caught on fire at one time. <laughs> <laughs> We're not haters. We're not haters. haters. This is back again with the 460. Okay, remember, you're going to load up long and slow. That he's ported on that chainsaw we call Brandon. <laughs> this is a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. It sounded better. I don't know. Better than the bark box. <laughs> Five point one. I'm gonna put right here. I'm gonna go yes. <laughs> Brandon number it's two. It's still <laughs> Brandon. A <Hey. laughs> four sixty. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever go to find that that um dino result yeah run we're gonna have to look for yes open a well, 460 same saw when you ported we've already dynoed it and we've just added a pipe and see if we can help this porting out seven, seven and, and a half five, one. so we didn't go a ton wait one, it, it, it was one and a half it was 6.1 before yeah so we got about one and a half horsepower that's all 6.51 question is how well we'll do in the wood now. <laughs> Probably sweet. You can go try it. Won't keep you from trying it. Uh, I don't want to take off my bar and chain off of that. <laughs> oh, you already put it on the We're just sick of all this. Oh, the 250. The 250's awesome. The 250 just take it home. The 250 that I think with a slight porting modification and tuning will Eat that piece of crap boat anchor of a 038 Magnum. <laughs> so, well, at least we helped your reporting out by uh, telling me that it sucks. Well, no, by 1.5 horsepower. It, it, it sucks! <coughs> I hate my life. I'm gonna go curl into a ball and cry. <laughs> and that's what the dyno usually does to people. Yep. But, what okay. RPM was that? Oh, where it peaked? Yeah. We're going to pay attention this time. Thirteen thousand. Oh well. 
Load yeah, we might need some uh, fuel. Some petroleum. We can make a pass <laughs> now that you got it back on there. You have, to, you have to just drag this back and lean it over on the side. <laughs> Pipe number two. It doesn't pull as hard, does it? Not only that, it didn't want to rev as high. Nope. Well, maybe we learned that pipe is a no-go. But this Let's Go Brandon saw is just, ooh, <laughs> needs a lot. It's not. Okay, on the dyno, this is a pile of junk, okay? <laughs> but in the wood, it is not a pile of junk. <coughs> Pissing me off. <laughs> okay, I don't want a dyno anymore. It's making me yeah. fit by the, the dyno makes people cry. It brings tears. big bore kit that he had done you know and he said I need to know where this power peaks because I had this big bore kit done on it 6.68 11,200 we better yet but the RPM range is way lower yeah. RPM came way down. went down and not the one one of the problems is it has too big of a stinger in it for this engine so we're not holding enough heat in the pipe so what about your big bore engine but the guy. Oh, he came in and he said, I just need to know where it power beats because my son's 800 still beats it. And I said, okay, so I put it on the, he brought it in, we put it on the dyno and everything, we make the first dyno run. And I look at him and I say, <laughs> if it had three more horsepower, it would be stock. <laughs> that's not a nice, oh, that's not a nice thing to say, is it? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I think we're going there. I think we got enough fuel in here for one more pull. Okay, well, we're going to make this pull a little quick because this is the pipe that can overheat on. Okay. Is your sprocket, is your brake supposed to be? Yeah, it's That's, moving around. It's a floater. The problem is I need to either anchor the rotor or the. But I almost think that if I made that thing heavier, instead of just out of an aluminum hub and everything, it might give us a little more consistent because the mass. Yeah. You know. Zero rotating mass. Yep. So we'll see what happens. Brandon. <laughs> We're done for it. I am not putting any more time and effort into this saw. I'm not even putting the bar and chain back on it. Oh. <clears throat> I'll have to ask Joe how many times he dinos, you know, to get his perfect run. Well, he says he does it a lot. Yeah, look at us. Like, what? he says he does it several times and then he picks the best, like, three the that's best that's run? to get the averages. That's what you have to do. And we're just doing it raw. Like you said, made those pipes for snowmobiles you dynoed it how a hundred and eighty times yeah five S seven five seven four and it's power peaking at twelve thousand seven hundred maybe a little bit longer here isn't this the best we did wow seven point what no because i had eight. Oh yeah, yeah no thing. we didn't have eight we had one horse more the best one was like 13. It peaked at 13, at but it did it like horsepower. at 7,100 or, or 70, 71.1 horsepower. It was that first pipe. Yeah. 
Yeah, but we. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna but, out on a limb to say you got enough fuel, and we're gonna make a long, slow run. A long, <coughs> slow run. You're gonna load it nice and easy. Let her rev clear up and load it nice and easy. Got it? Then we'll run. <coughs> Say this, you're out of gas. Yep. That's what it sounds like. Yep. That's no good, is it? Out of gas. Let's put some gas in it. Biden is.